too late. Nico realized he shouldn't have brought up Hylia. A look of despair passed over Reyna's face, though she managed to hide it quickly. We are her daughters, Reyna said. We're the first actual children of Bologna in the ramirez Ariano family, and Bologna has always favored our clan. Millennia ago, she decreed that we would play pivotal roles in many battles. Like you're doing now, Nico said. Reyna brushed crumbs from her chin. Perhaps some of my ancestors have been heroes. Some have been villains. You saw the ghost with the gunshot wounds in his chest? Nico nodded. A pirate? The most famous in Puerto Rican history. He was known as the pirate Corfesi, but his family name was Ramirez de Ariano. Our house, the family villa, was built with the money from the treasure that he buried. For a moment, Nico felt like a little kid again. He was tempted to blurt out, That is so cool! Even before he got to Mytho Magic, he'd been obsessed with pirates. Probably that was one reason he'd been so smitten with Percy, the son of a sea god. And the other ghosts? he asked. Reyna took another bite of the cream pie. The guy in the U.S. Navy uniform? He's my great-great-uncle from World War II, the first Latino submarine commander. You get the idea. A lot of warriors. Bologna was our patron goddess for generations. But she had never had demigod children in your family until you. The goddess... She fell in love with my father, Julian. He was a soldier in Iraq. He was... Raina's voice broke. She tossed aside the plastic bouquet of flowers. I can't do this. I can't talk about him. A cloud passed overhead, blanketing the woods in shadows. Nico didn't want to push Raina. What right did he have? He set down his oatmeal cream pie and noticed that his fingertips were turning to smoke. The sunlight returned. His hands became solid again but Nico's nerves jangled. He felt as if he had been pulled back from the edge of a high balcony. Your voice is your identity, he told Reyna. If you don't use it, you're halfway to a fetal already. He hated when his own advice applied to himself. My dad gave me a present once, Nico said. It was a zombie. Reyna stared at him. What? His name was Jules Albert. He was French. A French zombie? Hades isn't the greatest dad, but occasionally he has these want-to-know-my-son moments. I guess he brought, thought the zombie was a peace offering. He offered those Albert so he could be my chauffeur. The corner of Reyna's mouth twitched. A French zombie chauffeur? Nico realized how ridiculous it sounded. He'd never told anyone about Jules Albert, not even Hazel, but he kept talking. Hades had this idea I should... You know, try to act like a modern teenager and make friends, get to know the 21st century. He vaguely understood that mortal parents drive their kids around a lot. He couldn't do that, so his solution was a zombie. To take you to the mall, Raina said, or drive you at an In-N-Out burger? I suppose, Nico's nerves began to settle, because nothing helps you make friends faster than a rotting corpse with a French accent. Raina laughed. I'm sorry. I shouldn't make fun. It's okay. The point is, I don't like talking about my dad either. But sometimes, he said looking into her eyes, you have to. Raina's expression turned serious. I never knew my father in his better days. Hylia said he used to be gentler when she was very small, before I was born. He was a good soldier. Fearless, disciplined, cool under fire. He was handsome. He could be very charming. Bologna blessed him as she had so many of my ancestors, but that wasn't enough for my dad. He wanted her for his wife. Over in the woods, Coach Hedge muttered to himself as he wrote, Three paper airplanes were already spiling upward in the breeze, heading to God's nowhere. My father decided to dedicate himself completely to Bologna.